More than a dozen top officials on the Trump campaign were subpoenaed for a slough of Russia-related documents last month, catching the campaign off guard as the investigation into Russian election meddling intensifies, according to a new report. The subpoena, issued by Special Prosecutor Robert Mueller's team, requested emails and documents containing a set of Russia-related keywords, a person familiar with the matter told The Wall Street Journal Thursday. It wasn't immediately clear which officials were listed in the subpoena, which was Mueller's first official demand for information from the campaign, the person said. Trump officials had been cooperating with Mueller's investigation into possible collusion between their campaign and the Russian government but were taken aback by the subpoena's suddenness and scope, according to the report. The campaign has reportedly been submitting documents in response to the subpoena on an ongoing basis. Mark Wilson Getty images also Thursday. Members of the Senate Judiciary Committee said President Trump's senior advisor and son and law Jared Kushner failed to turn over emails and documents they had requested. Some of the missing emails regarded the Kremlin connected shadow group WikiLeaks. Kushner had apparently also failed to turn over a document that regarded a Russian backdoor overture and dinner invite. Trump and his campaign have vehemently denied any Russian collusion, but White House officials struggled to shield the president from scrutiny after his former campaign chairman Paul Manafort was indicted on a slough of federal charges last month. Around the same time, it was also revealed that former Trump campaign adviser George Papadopoulos had pleaded guilty to lying to the FBI about his Russia contacts, reportedly out of loyalty to the president. News of Mueller's October subpoena comes as his team is gearing up to interview a number of current and former White House officials, according to reports.